Hello everyone and welcome to Dice Commando New Player Series. In this video, Andrew sits down with Derek, a returning player, and walks him through how to play Palpatine. This is a live audio video shot in a non-competitive environment and is intended as a learning and coaching session. It is being shared for those that may want to learn and gain insight as well. Comments and public ratings are disabled on all new player videos. Alright guys, so we're here with Derek. So Derek is a reformed X-Wing player. Uh, so he used, actually used to play with us back in the even in the Awakenings days. And then he kind of got bored with us and decided he didn't want to be our friend anymore. And he left around Legacy's time. But he's he's come back, crawling back. So uh, what we're going to do, he's playing my Palpatine deck. He actually, this is not his first time playing it because he ran it in the tournament today. Uh, but what we're going to do is just kind of do a talk and play through it and uh, kind of take a new player approach on how to play Palpatine. So he's playing Palpatine and Conan Modi. So Derek, what's uh, Modi's ability? Modi's ability is after you resolve this die showing discard, you may discard a card from your hand to remove a die. Awesome. And then just remind us what Palpatine does. Palpatine, you get an extra health for every ability on it, and those abilities don't count toward his upgrade limit. And he has a power action that allows you to re-roll an ability into the pool from this character. Alright, so one thing to note is that Derek is playing a lot of abilities, so you're going to see obviously on Palpatine more abilities than the standard three upgrades. But that power action on him becomes very good if he has Forsaken in his hand, because what it does, so you obviously Forsaken reads, if a, Forsaken reads, if a player has one die in a pool, play this to remove a die of two or lower. Right, so what he can do is if he has Forsaken, instead of rolling one of these guys out and having two in, trying to resolve and set himself up, he can actually just power action and ability in, and then set himself up immediately to have that removal, or make his opponent respond. So that's a very good option. Also, what he's playing in here is the card Admiral. Do you have it in your hand? I do not. Okay, so the card Admiral is playing one of, so this is... The idea here is this is all about a reset, right? So it's a leader character only. Both of these characters are leaders, so you can play it on either one of them. After you play this upgrade, spend two resources to ready a character or vehicle, but the special is exhaust this upgrade to ready character or vehicle. So what Derek's going to be doing is he's going to be doing everything he can to try to get Admiral in with a fully loaded Palpatine and just swing for a bunch of damage. So that's kind of his win condition, aside from the fact that he can just regularly get a bunch of dice on the table. And then Palpatine plays interestingly in that you spend your first one or two rounds kind of turtling up, right? You're going to try to take all the money you can, focus into money, and try to ramp up. And then he has a card called Route. Route is a one-cost removal red card that allows you, has it in his hand, perfect. So for every three die in your pool, you may remove a die. So what he's going to want to do once he gets, at, I mean, obviously you want to shoot for multiples of three, but once he gets enough dice on the table, what he wants to do is just roll in Palpatine regardless of what he has and let me roll in and try to time walk me, right? Time walk is an expression that means try to make me basically burn a turn. Right, so Route is a huge play, Admiral is a huge play, and other than that, Palpatine just turtles up and goes. So, you ready to go, Derek? What was the first one you said? Forsaken? Uh, yeah, Forsaken is the, the, the zero cost move, right? I'm ready so to usually, go. Usually Forsaken works with characters like this, like three wides, when you're playing single cost character, or single die characters, you roll them in with your move, but you can actually set yourself up for that removal as well. So. All right. All right, you good to go? I am. All right, good luck, man. Good luck. So I rolled a seven. You're not going to beat that, I don't think. Uh, All right. Perfect. So we're actually gonna we're actually gonna play on yours because I don't or sorry on mine because I don't have a leader. So you can take your two shields and then just a reminder I'm playing retribution. So if uh, one of my character dice gets removed or one or more of my character dice gets removed, I can deal a damage each time that happens. But if you were to if you were to remove, let's say I had this out and you easy. I know you can't play easy pickings here, but if I had these two out and you easy picked me, I would deal one damage. If you remove this, I deal one damage. If you remove this, you deal one damage. If you remove multiple in one time, it's still only one damage. Okay. Okay? All right, so I get to go first then. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll in maul. All right, forbidden lore, not bad. All right, I'm actually just going to go ahead and power action maul. So I'm going to re-roll roll his die. Uh, I'm going to discard a card from my hand and re-roll it again. And then remove it to deal two damage to up to two, or two damage to two characters, not up to. So 
combine, so you got your ramp engine going, that's for sure. Alright, pull out my commando. Uh, no, actually I'm just gonna deal two to Palpatine. So with Forbidden Lore, you get to reduce the cost of blue ability by one and draw a card. So I'm gonna play a truce, so we each gain a dollar, which might be a mistake given you that much. But then with my ambush, I'm going to power action the Super Commando to play Pulse Cannon for one, two, three, and deal one to Palpatine. This is going downhill fast. So now with Palpatine's lightsaber, you actually gain resources back equal to the number, right? So yeah, so what he did is he reduced the cost to one, paid one, and then gained one for the number of abilities on. So he's actually ramping pretty good here. Um, I'm gonna roll in my commando. So now Palp has 12 health. Um, no, but you can't play it with right. I'm gonna discard the re roll. Okay, gotcha. There we go. Uh oh. The thing about this palp deck is focus really gets the job done in this deck. So I'm gonna power action feed, and I'm gonna gain a dollar. Now I know that Derek's not playing a ton of upgrade or a ton of uh, removal in his deck, so I'm willing to risk leaving that pulse cannon out there. All right, so I'm gonna power action the pulse cannon, see if I can get lucky. So let's do two to palp. And three to palp. And then I cannot resolve it. I really like the, yeah, because I obviously don't own 100 copies of every copy. Unless it's a few. Alright, so. Focus. Okay. So you can consider, I, I don't know if you want the money or not, but you can consider doing a focus to two focus. Yeah. So we're going to focus that to focus that. And then we're going to focus that to focus that. And focus that. Not bad. And then I can't do anything, so I'm going to claim. So seven, okay. two, uh, mall. Okay. And now Derek has a tough choice to make whether to go for the commando with the pulse cannon or mall, who does a ton of damage. And then, since you showed us before, we know that Derek has a route in his hand. So I'm gonna power action. Okay. To roll uh, Palpatine's lightsaber. So that's not an ability. It has to be that's an ability, ability right? That's yeah. correct. So Neiman, so you can roll it. Neiman. Yep. Okay. So I can turn this to a shield. Sure. Sorry. Shield. Yeah, that works. And then uh, shield. Not bad. And we'll pass. That was a pretty good turn for ramp there for you. I put a ton of damage into Palp, though. Yes, that hurt. All right. Okay. Let's roll in mall. Money, money, money. Uh oh. So the special on that one's pretty nasty. Deal one damage to a character or two damage if you're removed to die this round. 
Well, so the reason I know I'm in trouble is because we know he's got that route, right? So what he's going to do is he's going to try and roll in, remove two dice, and then get that special. So now we're going to pretend I didn't know that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll in my commando and try to maximize my reroll. So remind me of the power action. Resolve the die. Yeah, so it's re resolve this die. So I'll do it this way for the camera. Resolve this die. And then re-roll roll the die into your pool and resolve it a fable. Then roll and resolve a fable. And the commando's power action? Commando, I can play a weapon or equipment on him and deal one damage. All right, we're going to best defense. Oh, okay. Nice. And we're going to take this die, okay. and you may take your pick of them all dice. Okay. So then I'll, I'll deal one to Pelp for retribution. But that was a good good remove there. So, because Palpatine has 13 health right now, right? Mm -hmm. Well, let's go ahead and put one into him. Yep, and there's the dangerous focus. All right, so I'm going to power action Maul. I'm going to roll him. I'm going to have to discard now to re-roll. So I'll do two apiece. I'll pass. I think I'm in deep trouble here. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Right. Yep. Choke me out. That's smart. It's covered Sith and the conflicted. Oh, nice. Alright. Fair enough. Um, I'll claim. No, no, it's it's my fault. Because did you remove a die? Just I did. You did, yeah. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to reroll. Yeah, because you don't want to burn that focus, right? Correct. See you, Matt. That got better. Yeah. Oh, and you st oh, you didn't reroll that though, right? You kept it. Correct. So now this one, right? So you can. So what it does is it's uh, there's no then on it. So let's let's read. It's turn a die to a side showing damage, or turn a die showing damage to blank period. Reroll this die instead of removing it. So you get to do both. So even though there's no die, you can actually reroll it over and over and over again until you get your shield if you choose. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll reroll it. So you just keep rerolling yep, it. Basically, yeah. I mean, since we've uh, obviously it's an action, but since I've claimed, well, no, that was a blank. Oh. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So. So we will focus. This to the two. This to the special. 
Not bad. So, five. So that kills, oh wait, no, hold. Small has seven, so he needs six. Five, two. Well, but you did a one there, right? I did five. Right, so that puts him at 12. 12, right? And then you do two more, right? Two more, uh, correct. So do this instead, right? Oh, right. Six and then one. That's right. Yeah. So I'm going to power action. Yeah, there you go. That doesn't stink. And it's got two specials? Yeah, that, that might be so worth a reroll. I am going to... I don't want to. I want this card more. So I had actually forgotten about that power action. You might have wanted to hold back a melee. In fact, let's 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 actually back that up. Let's hold back your one melee in case you get the plus two to pair with it. That's actually the better play. Oh, I see. Right. So now, okay. So now with your focus, it, it doesn't matter. But you understand the logic, right? right? Of course. Okay, so now he'll take three. Two, three damage. So one and two for three. Nice. Yeah, now I'm in trouble. So when do you, so you... So this gives me ambush once I take control, so if I ambush, I have the power action. To play that? Yeah, to play and equip ambush. Which gives me one damage to this, allows me that. All right, you good to go? You got your two monies. Yeah, fine. All right, I'm going to roll in, uh... Yeah, I'm going to roll in my commando. Because I'm scared of that route play. So I'm going to doubt that. That's good, yeah. Alright, you take three to palp, but it was better than let me power action. So, three... All right, he's got one, two, so he has 13 health. So he's dead, right? He is dead. I didn't think he was, but he is dead. Did we do that right? Well, yeah. Because these don't count, right? Right. So, yeah, 10, 13. Okay, dead, fair enough. Should have activated. So I get a reroll on a trooper here. Doubt let me down. No admiral, huh? No. I should have healed. I didn't expect. Oh, did that. you have Bacta? Yeah. Oh well, then let's back that up because that's that makes for good TV and good learning, right? So if you had Bacta. So that had a one gun. Yeah, it had a one gun. Pull your doubt back. Yeah, let's so, totally okay. do that. So heal. Yep, so then you heal one, two, three, right? Right. So he had three. He had eight. And a sheet. So he's going to heal three. Yep. All right, then it would be your turn. Okay, but yeah, now power action, so I'll do the one. Do one. And then I'll disrupt, but you don't have anything to disrupt. So, so pal, pal. And now you should be able to knock me out, I would think. So, I'm gonna play that. Nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pitch to re-roll, because why not? So take that. So now we'll doubt. Well, do two. 
Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on, it's my action. Oh, it is your action. I was like, what's that? Okay, two, four. Oh, the cutter. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to desperate measure. Spot yellow character, discard a support from play, deal indirect equal to the cost. So let's get rid of Forbidden Lore and take zero indirect. Well, I'm going to red. All opponents in their creatures. Oh, on, on, on the command show? Okay. Woof. All right, well, I'm going to pay one for Act of Cruelty. So deal one unblockable to each an opponent's damage characters. And then... Discard a card for each defeated, which is zero. Because you're one shy. And now I'm out of cards, not fooling anybody, so I'll claim. Let's see if you can finish me off. That'll do it. Yep. So, well, that's two. What's one, right? Because you, you didn't remove, because this would got power action. Right. Okay, so there, yeah, there's one. So you need five? Yep. But you have your power action too. Right, so. This will go to two and two, and that's five. Okay, perfect. Well done, sir. Well done on the take back. All right. No, that's right. I mean, that's the whole point, right? Yeah. Learning. You just got to get her reps. Palpatine's kind of a. Uh, Right. Kind of stinks if you go down early. Yeah, but he if takes, you can't kill him early, it becomes real ugly. For sure, he takes a while to get ramped up, but once he does, he's pretty formidable. Hey, my name is Joseph. Thanks for watching Dice Commando. Please remember to like and subscribe, and remember, uh, friends don't let friends play Blue Hero.